world welcome back i'm here again coming to you live from the garden where i have finished pulling out like weeds and whatnot and leaving everything alone until next spring next spring there are plans i think i might want to do a different layout back here next spring this is just some pots some more pots Oh boy. So yeah, like I want to do something different. Anyway, this is the exciting thing that we're going to talk about. What's left, what remains. Rainbow Swiss chard. Brussels sprouts. And that orange guy is some black seed Simpson lettuce. And right there is orange mint. That's it. Nothing else remains. But let's look at the Brussels sprout, shall we? I'm going to try to educate some people i don't even want that sounds so terrible i'm not trying to educate you i am going to give you some tips on how to grow brussels sprouts according to my findings ready all right boom so here we go this seed this uh brussels sprout plant i grew it from seed i had one seed left and it grew and all summer long what was happening was see these things here those guys all those little nodes that's where leaves once grew so once the plant started growing and the leaves started growing I started removing the leaves because that's what I was taught via other people on YouTube and their gardening so you pluck out the leaves I'm gonna demonstrate with one of these up here and when you pluck them out the Brussels sprout grows from them and I came down here to clean after not having come down here for quite some time. And I found these Brussels sprouts. And let me tell you, oh, happy day. So what you do is, for example, see this leaf here? And where it's growing from, you take it and you like pull down and twist. And the leaf comes off. You can eat these leaves, you know. You got to cook them. But you can eat them and if i'm not mistaken what they said was that the leaves are sweeter than spinach and look at this little guy right here i believe that was the beginnings of a brussels sprout i don't know if this is another leaf because i'm seeing them here and there or i don't know anyway these for certain are the brussels sprouts so from that little spot that i pulled the leaf from a brussels sprout should grow Probably not now. I think whatever I have here is all that I'm going to have a chance with. Um, Because, you know, I don't know how... I've never, I've never done this before with the Brussels sprouts. And I don't know what's the coldest weather they can tolerate before they start, you know, turning to mush. Right now, it is November something. The week of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, so you figure out what today is. Um, But the point is, I don't know... I don't know when I'm going to be able to harvest them. Like, if it gets colder, snow happens. Will they survive? I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. To figure it out. Also, right here on the top, I ended up clipping it from the top. And I'll show you that top piece. I stuck it in a thing of dirt just because it was so pretty. I didn't want to throw it away. But the reason why I did this was because there was a colony of aphids living in it. And... I shall show you those aphids right now. So this was the little head of the Brussels sprout. Hold on, I need you to focus like you've never focused before. And you see them? Come on. Well, those little gray specks that you see right there and right there. They're everywhere in here, but the camera's not picking them up. Anyway, that's aphids. They're living in there now. All right, America and elsewhere. Bye-bye.